Hi guys, so great to see you again. Oh, I forgot, I can't see you. Neither can you also see me because this is a screen display. But in both ways, you are welcome to another YouTube tutorial. What do we have here? We are going to create a glass morphism effect using Figma. Trust me, this is very, very easy. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. These are just random shapes I just brought out to create this glass morphism effect. That doesn't mean you cannot use other images to create your own glass morphism effect because this is just like an example. The first thing we are going to be doing is to create our card. So we are going to press R on our keyboard and draw any length of card just like this. Something like this is better. We are going to be rounding the corners. Let's choose something like 205 just like this. Okay, perfect. The next thing is to change the color. We are going to be using a gradient fill. So you should be seeing something like this. We'll expand this to this side. And same thing here. We'll be reducing the opacity of both colors. So I'll come to this place and click it. And this one is in zero. So I'm going to raise it up to something like um, 20. Then I'll change the opacity of this one to something like 10. Okay, we should be having something like this. We are almost arriving at our destination. The next is to add an effect of which I will come down here and add our effects. When you click the plus, you should be seeing something like this. What we are going to be using here is background blur. So you click that and click the setting which is by the side of it. The blur we are going to be using is something like 40. So we can just come and choose 40 then you press enter. You should be seeing something like this. We are almost there. The next thing is to create a stroke to make it more realistic. So we'll click this stroke just like that and add a gradient stroke. We'll just come over here and add a gradient stroke. The same thing we did for the shape colors. We are going to be doing it here. Just drag this and the other one here. But the only difference is that we are going to be changing their individual colors. So I'm going to choose white for this end just like this. And for the other end, I'll make this 100, the opacity. And for this other end, I should be choosing a lighter color. Something like this. Okay, this is perfect. Where is this running to? <laughs> so it's just somewhere like this. Let me brighten it up a bit. Okay, since we have something like this, it's too sharp. So I'm going to reduce this opacity to 20, just like this. And the other side, because I want it to be like the light source is coming from the top. So the opacity of this one is going to be like something 30. Okay, since we already done this, we're almost done with our glass morphism effect. But there's one thing left to make it more realistic. Though we have added our stroke, of which it has helped a lot. But there's one more. We're going to be selecting this. What we're going to do is to add noise to make it more realistic that this is kind of a glass. We'll head up to this plugin and select noise. So you search for noise plugin and this is it, of which I ran. Okay, we are going to be clicking this color and raising it down just like this. After then, then you click the plus. So you should be seeing something like this that added to our glass morphism effect. We are going to be reducing the opacity of this image to something like 10. Okay, this is it. If you notice, there's this kind of, um, is it rough? Looking like a glass kind of, but it's looking like a glass anyway. Since we are done with this glass morphism effect, let's just finish it up by adding a text. So we can just hit T on our keyboard and let's type something like um, YouTube tutorial. The reason why I'm typing this text is just to show you one example. So you head up to these layers where you have this pasture and click this and select overlay. It kind of blends the text into the glass morphism effect we just created. So this is the simplest way of which you can create a glass morphism effect using Figma. If you are my channel for the first time, to see more videos, I would like you to click the subscribe button and join the waiting train. See you guys in the next video.